Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zartus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create and send people invoices. Before we start, hurry up and check out our digital purchases under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we create and send people invoices? Well, creating one and sending one is actually pretty easy. So the first thing you want to do is you want to access your web browser, go to people.com and log into your account. In this case, since I've already gone to people.com and locked into my account, what we need to do next is we need to actually uh, create an invoice. So typically at the top right, you should be able to see an icon that says create an invoice. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, from here, it should redirect you to the invoice creation process here. And there's a few things that you need to do here or basically uh, uh, fill up for you to actually uh, send your invoice. So first is we need to choose our template and currency. Now, at the top right of your invoice here, you have our template. So there are three templates to choose from. We have amounts only, ours, or quantity. In this case, choose the appropriate uh, type of uh, template that you want to use. So for amounts only, this is what it's going to look like. So for example, you are you want to actually build a single user or customer here or build multiple customers. Now you have the items here, the email address or name, and any services or items that you want to include here as well. Now the due date and all those details. Now we choose ours. This is what it's going to look like. So in this case, you need to indicate how many hours for that specific item or service. Now, if you choose quantity, which in this case is going to be the focus of our tutorial here, you'll have the option to basically add the items or the usual stuff here. So you also need to choose your currency. So there's a lot of currency to choose from here, but I'll be sticking with PHP or in this case, Philippine Peso. Now, from here, you have the option to add your logo if you have any. So let's go and click on add logo here. Choose and upload your logo. Now from here, you also have the option to change your information, like the business location that you have, your email address, as well as your mobile number. Now, in this case, you could also, again, add edit your business info if you want to. Now, in this case, the email address or name section allows you to basically enter the email address that you want to actually build to or send this. So for, as an example, I could go ahead and click on add new customer here and basically fill out all the necessary details for that customer. So that includes their first name, their last name, their business name, and email address, and the uh, phone number associated for that specific customer. You can change the code here to a different one. For example, you're billing someone from another, or to, uh, from another country. So in this case, you could choose the appropriate one that applies to them. You also have the option to add a billing address, shipping address, and invoice language, and additional notes if you want to. Now, in this case, I just want to include a specific email address here. So in this case, let's go ahead and enter it. And from here, let's go ahead and basically start adding items. As you can see, you could only add or you can also just add your email address here instead of fooling, uh, fill, uh, adding all those details or customer details. But again, I would recommend you to first uh, ba basically enter all the necessary details about your customer, just to be sure. Now, in this case, you can go ahead and click on the items to be shipped to address. So let's go ahead and click on add address here and provide their address. Because in this case, if there are physical items that you need to ship, make sure to indicate that as well. Now, you also have the CC additional recipients. Like for example, if you have third party uh, uh, companies uh, need to be informed regarding this one, you can basically CC them in the recipient section here. Now, in this case, you can go ahead and add your items. Like for example, there's going to be tests item one and how many items for that and the price for it so for example there's going to be around 100 philippine peso and from here you can also add a description for that specific item now you can also add another item if you want to add the item name the quantity the price and if it's actually taxable so in this case you could also uh, choose the option to add a row if you want to so if you click on it you should be able to add a row now, in this case, if you want to delete a row here, you can go and click on the X next to the specific row there. Let's go ahead and click on the X so that we only have one item. Now, we also have the message to customer here. So if you want to uh, basically send them a greeting here, like for example, thank, thank you for buying the items. Uh, items will be shipped, so you could go ahead and add those. You can also add terms and conditions here and any reference number that you want to add. So for example, I'm going to say test uh, message and from here, we also have the right panel. Now you also have the option to add an invoice number for your invoice here, the invoice date, and the due date for it. So in this case, on receipt. 
So maybe 10 days or in 10 days on a specific date or no due date at all. So you can choose one of the following options here. Also have the option or other discounts if you want to add those. So have also have the shipping if there are any shipping costs. So by default, the subtotal will be added in here. So depending on how much you actually indicate in your section here, this will be automatically updated. Now, we also have the payment options here. So in this case, if you allow partial payment, so the minimum due if you need to, and if you want to allow tips, you can go and do that as well. So in this case, once you've provided all the details here, you can go and click on the I button here, which in this case allows you to actually preview or basically see what your invoice is going to look like. So in this case, what's, this is what's going to look like for me. So in this case, if you want to edit again, go and click on edit invoice. Now, I also have the tree dot icon here if you want to share a link to this invoice, even save this as draft or save as template for further use uh, sometime, in the, uh, uh, sometime in the future. So in this case, go and click on send. And this will actually send this information into the email address that we actually added into the invoice. So in this case, when we go to gmail.com and visit our other email, you should be able to see an invoice from the following user and the invoice number itself. As you can see, this is your here is your invoice amount that you need to pay. So if they need to pay for it, just click on view or they should be able to click on view and pay. And again, the details required here, the due amount and if they want to add a tip and basically select the pay method uh, or basically start paying for that specific invoice. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.